Okay, so great news. The power is on. Everything's working. Uh, I've just tested three circuits so far, and uh, they're all good. So um, I've got one of these to test the sockets, test the outlets, and uh, I'll show you how that works. Um, so yeah, once you've tested the breaker box with the multimeter, making sure everything's uh, looking good, um, then I connect it up uh, to the mains power, and uh, all the breakers were in the off position, and I just went one breaker at a time. So I turned one circuit on, nothing happened, which is good, and then uh, came inside and just used this in every socket on that one circuit. And then I went outside, flicked on the second circuit breaker, nothing happened. And uh, then I came in and did the same on the second circuit. Now the second circuit has GFCIs on it, and this little button on the top will uh, trip that GFCI, it's like a test. So you can test the GFCI and then anything downstream of it too. So what we're looking for is these two lights, the two oranges to be on. Um, and uh, there's an explanation on the back here as to what lights mean what. So let me show you. Okay, so I have the GFCI, and because I put them in the upside down, you don't get to see the actual um, pattern and uh, read it properly, so you have to switch it upside down. Um, but that was my choice. Deliberately, I explained why in the other video. So let's plug her in. We have both orange lights on, which is fantastic. So that works. Now I'm just going to press the button underneath to test the trip. So we hit that, and the breaker trips. So we want to reset it. Well, also, before when you install the GFCI, it's it's already in the tripped position. So before you start things off, you want to press it in, like so. And then I'll test the other outlet here. And we've got both. And we'll oh, it's just a loose connection with this. And then uh, push it in, and it trips. Perfect. Reset. Now, this GFCI over here is downstream of that one. So let's test this guy out. We have both lights on. Awesome, I'm gonna try the trip button on the bottom, and that trips. And that tripped over here. It was this that clicked. So I gotta go, in order to get this working again, I have to go and reset the GFCR on this one, and then we'll try the top one. Perfect, got both lights on, test the button, and that's tripped. Awesome, so we have fully functioning kitchen circuit, and uh, I tested this one down the bottom, and that's exactly the same. So that is a pretty awesome milestone, super stoked, really happy that the power is on. Um, the next phase of sorting out the power, once I've tested the other side circuits, um, is I'm just waiting for the sockets and light bulbs for the LEDs. Uh, and then I can test the 12 volt circuit too. So until then, I'm gonna get on with some more work. All right, so that is it for today. Um, been quite a full day, managed to complete uh, all the 120 volts. There's one left that I need to screw in, but today was a good day, got everything tested and it all works. Uh, there was one error on one of the circuits, uh, one of the plugs wouldn't work, but um, on investigating, one of the pigtails had come loose, so it was perfect. Uh, got it all sorted out, <clears throat> fitted it back together, and we're good to go. Um, so yeah, happy days, got all that done, and then also I got a lot of the um, bathroom insulated as well. I'd done a lot of it the previous day, um, previous couple of days, um, but just kind of got a bit more done and also some of the ceiling as well. There's still some patches left to do, so I've been doing that as well. So it's coming along now. Um, it helps that I'm not working as well now, so I can actually just focus and keep going because when you've got to share the tiny house work and, uh, and actually going to work four days a week, uh, it's kind of tiring and disjointed and you don't really have time to do the videos and whatnot. So, um, yeah, hopefully we're back on track with some videos now and, 
yeah, should be uh, all good for some more tiny house action. So tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might take the day off tomorrow, but come Monday, I should hopefully get the lights and um, the LEDs and the, the sockets and whatnot. But if I do come in here, I'm probably just going to finish off the insulation in the bathroom. And I've already drawn out plumbing plans, so I'm going to uh, wait for the water heater to arrive before I actually tackle that. But um, yeah, things are looking good. We're back on a roll after a little bit of uh, a break, so. All right, I'm done. See ya.